In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to release the tight hamstring muscles. The hamstrings are part of the superficial backline, which start underneath the bottom of the foot, cover the back of the leg, the hips, the entire back, the neck, and they finally stop at the eyebrows. When there's tightness in segments of the superficial backline, that can cause aches and pains and chronic um, injuries in the body. So it's a really good idea to release the hamstrings as it contributes to sciatica, it contributes to, uh, to hip pain, lower back pain, knee pain. It can cause very many different ailments in the body. So how do we release the hamstrings? First of all, you need a foam roller. Then what we do is um, we place it underneath the hamstring muscle. I like to start on the belly of the muscle, so just uh, uh, in between the knee and your hip. Start on the middle of the back of the thigh. Uh, use your other foot and push into it a little bit to lift your hips from uh, your yoga mat. Then slowly, so you don't fly over that foam roller, roll back and forth. Make sure that you're not rolling the back of the knee, that, that wouldn't feel good and it's unnecessary. So just stop right, um, uh, right above the knee and roll up just below your sit bone. If you find a good tender spot, stop, take a little break and move your legs sideways so you can massage that tender spot away. Then, uh, after you roll back and forth about 8 to 10 times, rotate your leg out slightly. You don't want to turn out too much because you don't want to be on your outer thigh. You just want to be on the lateral side of the hamstring. So you're still on the back of the leg with a little external ro rotation. Turn your leg out. And we're just going to go back and forth again from the, the area above the knee all the way up to the top of your thigh. You may find some really tender spots in that area. I found one right there, so I'm going to take a little break there and I'm moving my leg sideways to massage it away. And I'm using the same technique, I'm slowly rolling and I'm going to repeat that about 8 to 10 times. Once I'm finished with it, I'm going to turn my leg inwards. Some people have a really hard time with internal rotation in the hip joint and it's typically because their external rotators are too tight. So just try and rotate that leg all the way from your hip socket and roll that area the same way about 8 to 10 times. Use the same technique if you find a tender spot, pause and move your leg a little bit sideways. This way you're addressing all three muscles that make up your hamstrings. And once you repeat it, eight to 10 times, switch to the other leg. 